In this video, I'm going to show you how to hook up an isobus implement. So currently right now I have a Convernland fertilizer spreader hooked to the back of my tractor, however, it is not working. You'll see it hasn't populated on the screen. So in this case what we want to do is we need to scroll down to our administration menu, go to administration main menu, and we need to scroll down here to our isobus settings. You can see here in this page in the top right corner, our ISO bus switch is currently turned off, and also our task controller underneath that is also turned off. We want to ensure that both of those are turned on. Instantly now you'll see that that fertilizer spreader has been detected by the tractor. This message here that has popped up is telling us that the Convernland uh, controller on this particular unit has determined particular switches on the tractor that it's going to self-populate for certain functions to work. So if we go ahead and hit the check mark, it brings up that particular screen right now and it shows you what it's going to do. So some of the teach-in buttons and some of the valve float buttons are going to be taken over by the, the implement itself to be able to turn that machine on and off. So we'll go ahead and acknowledge that. Now we'll go ahead and we'll minimize our ISO bus information page get rid of our administration main menu page and we'll go back to our normal screen. So now over on here on the left hand side if we go ahead and press on this UT ISOBUS button it'll open up our ISOBUS. This current setup on this unit is set to show the ISOBUS on the left hand side of the screen and then we have this second icon down where we can actually expand our ISOBUS to a full screen mode. ISOBUS is customizable we can have it so it's on the left hand side of the screen or we can have it so it's on the top side of the screen. We can also change it here where currently you see icons on the right hand side of the screen and also the left hand side of the screen. We can change that so that all the buttons move over here to the right hand side. I'll show you that right now. So if we go over here to the left hand side and we go to our isobus settings, we'll go down here to our isobus with a wrench. If we wanted to change our icons from the left and the right side, both to the right hand side, what we'll go ahead and we'll do is we'll select this middle button here. Now if we go back into our isobus screen, isobus full screen, you'll see here now all the buttons are both on the right hand side. If we want to change it from the left side to the top of the screen, we go ahead back into our ISO bus settings and we go ahead and we'll switch this top switch. Currently it's switched to the left. We'll go ahead and switch that to the right. Now if I go back to our main screen here, you'll see now ISO bus is across the top of the page and we can also make it full screen as well here. Those are the four different views for ISOBUS.